Hey guys, it's me, Lizzie. I don't know if you remember, about a year or more ago, we've talked about me having thyroid disease. So, new diagnosis. New diagnosis. Stick around. We got lots to talk about. Mm. So, not too long ago, well, it was a while ago, over a year, and I spoke to you about me having thyroid disease. Now, I recently had, a couple months ago, maybe, I don't know how many months, but it was months ago, I had a recent new diagnosis. And you know how I was going to many doctors about my thyroid issue and I actually accidentally found out that I have thyroid disease, that I suffer with thyroid disease. And long story short is one day I went in for pneumonia and then that's when I found through the CAT scan that I have a lump right here. I don't know if you see it but that is actually a goiter and it is multiple nodules and well they call it a goiter so i knew about that so actually it grew a little bit so you could see it if you're really looking you can really notice it more so if i do that yes so i went to several doctors and finally I found a doctor that she's a surgeon and I know how everybody's saying that you know last result is surgery which is true last result is sur surgery so if I can't do anything about it if I can't reverse it if I can't of course we're gonna do surgery anyways so I told her, I explained to her what was going on, um, how I feel pressure, and sometimes my back, my lower back hurts, or stuff like that. Just just a lot of things that have been going on through my body, like memory fog, just losing hair, sometimes like shedding hair a lot, and um, just a lot of things, mood swings. It's frustrating when you have all a lot of symptoms dealing with thyroid disease. Now, as I told her all of this, she said, I think I know what's wrong with you. Not really, I think she knows what's wrong with me. So she didn't want to say or di the, diagnose me with that disease unless she knew for sure and she said it is parathyroid disease what that is is that it's in back of the thyroid gland and there's four parts they look like four little grains of rice so basically one of them has like a tumor and is overreacting and what it does is it pumps too much calcium into my bones, which causes everything to go whack. So, which causes my bones to lose calcium. No matter if I take a lot of vitamins, no matter, it just doesn't. So, she took me to do several tests. First of all, I took, she tested my PTH hormone parathyroid hormone and it was really high it was 101 and I think the average was 69 or something like that I'm not sure I really have to look at it but I had 101 and it was really high and then my calcium was elevated so you know it was high so with that and plus I even request her to do a bone density 
So she did that and I found out I have osteoporosis in my spine. So that is caused by my parathyroid hormone overreacting. So the result is that I have to take surgery and my surgery is coming very soon. It will be very soon. March 9th is my surgery date. So guys, I will be here to film every part of it from beginning of surgery after surgery and months after so I want to just to share my experience with anyone out there that has questions especially about the parathyroid hormone a lot of people like I've never heard I didn't even know about the thyroid period in the beginning and then I didn't even know about parathyroid so it's a lot of things but learning knowing is knowledge and you can take care of yourself guys this is like a message to you guys if you ever feel like something's not right with your body get checked if you feel like all these you're having little symptoms you don't know what you would you don't brush them off let your doctor let your let them know what you're going through because if i let this go in the future in my future i will have issues I will definitely have issues with my bones and I don't want that. I heard stories about um, this lady's grandmother ended up in a wheelchair because of her bones. She turned out to have osteoporosis really bad and then she couldn't walk anymore. So it's, it's, it's just, I don't want to get to it. I don't want to get to that point. So I definitely decided that I'm going to have surgery and I want you guys to come and share it. So March night will be coming soon and hope huh, and pray to God everything goes well, which I believe and I have faith that it will. I just need to, you know, this thing is not getting any smaller. I don't know if you go back and look at my other video and then you will see like the difference. I'm gonna actually put a picture maybe right up here and maybe we could compare the two. Maybe I could put a picture at the end of the video with um, before and now picture up, up close. So we can do it that way. Anyway, guys.